Hey there, I'm Denise. If you are new here, today I am amped on three cups of coffee. The Oscars were last night. I stayed up later than I usually do on a Sunday evening to watch them. And I thought, what better way to commemorate last night's event than recapping it all for you today on my channel. I've loved Oscars and award season ever since I was a little girl and I really look forward to it every year. And last night was wonderful. I sat here on this couch in my pajamas. I ate junk food. I laughed. I cried. I texted my friends. I posted about it. I was very happy overall with the outcome of last night's event and I want to share it with you guys today. So before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel. More subscribers on my channel equals better content for you and as a subscriber, you won't miss out on anything that I post here. So hit that button below and we will just jump in. Obviously, I'm not an expert, I'm not a film critic or anything like that, but I am an actress so I do have I think beyond like a bare level appreciation of these events and I mean the Oscars are the pinnacle of film craftsmanship and I was kind of underwhelmed leading into the ceremony for the first time probably in a long time. There wasn't going to be a host because Kevin Hart was removed from the host and I guess they didn't find a replacement. And then some of the nominations were kind of underwhelming. It ended up being a good night. Like with all things considered leading up to the event, I was happy that there wasn't a host because the events moved along really quickly. There weren't any awkward monologues that you had to endure like as time fillers. And you got a variety of presenters. So I did enjoy that part and I didn't think I would. My top favorite moments from the night were Olivia Coleman winning Best Actress, I just love her. As an actress, I really admire her, I look up to her. I think she commits to her roles. She was incredible in The Favorite. It was such a good movie, I highly recommend you see it. And she's gonna be the crown, or the queen in the next installment of The Crown. She's amazing on Broadchurch, which is one of my favorite TV shows. So her speech was humble, gracious, funny. I just love her, she's wonderful. And my BFF Emma and I both cried when she won. It was great. Also, another wonderful moment. I love Mahershala Ali. This was his second time winning Best Supporting Actor. Although, I've heard that he was like the main character of this movie. So, I'm not quite sure why he was Best Supporting Actor. But he won. So, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave that there. I love him. I think he's very, he's a classy, smart interesting dude, very talented. I also love seeing Rami Malek win. I know that it was controversial because some of the critics didn't like Bohemian Rhapsody and then there was some bad press as far as the director's behavior, but arguably it was a great role. I mean, he adapted to the character, he gave a stellar performance, and he honored Freddie Mercury's essence. And the screenwriting might not have written the character exactly as he was in real life, but it's a film adaptation. It's not supposed to be exactly like real life. So I thought he was brilliant and his speech was so sweet and I loved his shout out to his girlfriend who is also in the movie. I just loved it, it was great. So there were a lot of great presenters that also made the night really wonderful. Um, the trifecta of comedians, so Maya Rudolph, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, when they came out and they did their little bit, it was great, it was hilarious. I wish they had hosted. I loved Aquafina and John Mulaney. They were a great pair. They were so awkward and cute. I, it was, I just loved them. Who else did I like? Oh, Melissa McCarthy and Brian Tyree Henry. I could not stop laughing. They were fantastic. I loved them. And then there were just some really like elegant, wonderful, um, presenters so JLo and Chris Evans I mean they both looked unreal it was just I couldn't they like oh it was beautiful and Julia Roberts and Barbara Streisand they were wonderful performances it was really or presenters it was just wonderful to see them Hannah Beachler winning for production design for Black Panther. And then Ruthie Carter also won for Black Panther for 
costume design and the costumes in that movie were incredible. Those were highlights of the night. I think lows of the night. We attempted to walk out during uh, Green Book's Best Picture win and Green Book won Best Picture. That was also one of my least favorite moments. I also have to say Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga's performance, it was beautiful, it sounded great, but watching it just made me, it made my skin crawl. And then there were some presenters that were kind of random and I'm not sure how I felt about. I think my favorite part though is the fashion. So let's jump into the fashion. I'm going to put pictures up while I talk about everything. Start with my least favorites and uh, because I don't have very many of those, and then we can go into the favorites and end on a really good note. First least favorite is Linda Cardellini. I love her. I know what she was going for, but I just really didn't like this dress. I didn't like the pink um, frills. I thought it was too much. It swallowed her. I, I said that it looked like Big Bird and um, Elmo had a love child, so yeah. Next is Pharrell. I know he's stylish. I get what he was going for, but I just felt like it was too casual for the Oscar. Charlize Theron, she's a beautiful lady. She does not look good in that haircut or that hair color. That dress was not flattering. It literally reminded me of Coraline's mom when she becomes the tall, evil mom. That's what it reminded me of. Sarah Paulson, it could have been, like the skirt was really pretty and the color was lovely, but the top was weird. It was not flattering at all and she's a, a beautiful lady. And then my last one, I hate to say it because I love her, but Rachel Weiss, like what were you thinking? It looked like they took part of Britney Spears' Oops I Did It Again costume and put it on top with this like, it, I just can't. Many good ones though, so let's get into the good stuff. Okay, Amelia Clark in Balmain, I died. She looked exquisite. She has this beautiful creamy skin anyway, and her makeup was just perfect. I loved the color of the dress. I loved the silhouette of it. I thought it was perfect for her. Constance Wu in Custom Versace, is, she's beautiful. She doesn't need a lot. This dress was simple. It was classic. It was... She looked effortlessly stunning. Emma Stone in Louis Vuitton. Upper and the bronze in it, it was just, oh, I loved the sleeves. I loved her hair color with the dress. It like was really nice with the colors of the dress. It fit her beautifully. It was a very simple silhouette. I just, I loved it. Loved, loved it. Helen Mirren, Dame Helen Mirren looked so age appropriate and beautiful in this ombre pink and orange dress and pink was definitely on trend last night so she was right up there with all the on trend women jennifer hudson and ellie saab couture i loved this dress this is like the kind of dress that i would wear if i could it just suited her so well it, her figure looked amazing i loved the red with her skin i loved the big ruffles it was beautiful Amy Adams always wears these beautifully classic pieces and last night she just looked stunning. I loved the print of her beading and sequins. It was very beautiful and elegant and the silhouette was really simple but it fit her well. It looked nice against her skin. Her hair looked good. It was beautiful. I actually really liked Angela Bassett's dress. Um, I think it was because of the color of it. Like I said, pink is, was definitely on trend last night. But she was in custom Reem Accra and it was just beautiful. I love the ruffles, kind of like how Jennifer Hudson had big detail on her shoulder. It was really nice and it fit her beautifully. Brie Larson looked incredible. I want that silver dress. It was beautiful. I think the only thing that she needed to really complete this look was I think she needed a bolder lip. I think the nude was nice, but a bright red or a bright pink just really would have done something for this whole look. Regardless, she's beautiful. I just, I cannot, that dress was one of my favorites of the entire night. It was so beautiful. Jason Momoa. I mean, the man is, the man is a god, first off, but this pink tux with the velvet, I mean, he just looked so fire. 
I loved the color against his skin. I loved the detailing of it. It was an amazing, amazing tux. I'm a huge fan. But Regina King in Oscar de la Renta, that white dress was stunning on her. I loved the detailing at the hip. It was beautiful. It was very classic and elegant. And like when she went up to accept her speech, she looked perfect. It was the perfect dress for last night. Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Did you see him help Regina King up on stage? My jaw dropped. He looked so, so handsome. And then my jaw dropped again when he presented with J-Lo. I loved his tux. I love the color of it. I love the fit of it. I mean, he's so handsome anyway, but like, oh, he just looked so great last night. Julia Roberts, again, the pink. It looked beautiful on her. I love her as a blonde. She just looked so beautiful and classic and it was a really nice surprise to see her present and then in that beautiful dress, it was wonderful. Bradley Cooper, he is a man that like when I think of a tux, a guy in a tux, I think of Bradley Cooper because he's so handsome. He has that beautiful hair. I love his beard. It just looked so classic. John Mulaney also, fantastic. His jacket was goals. We were talking about it. It just, the pattern was so nice. It was fashion forward and edgy, but it still suited his personality. And then he was simple on the bottom. It was, it was great. And there was Amandla Stenberg, who you guys might remember as Rue from Hunger Games. And she's in some upcoming projects. She, I was looking at her as she was presenting. I was like, her skin. Her skin is beautiful. The fit of that dress is beautiful. Her hair is so cool. I just love her skin. I love her makeup. I love the bodice of her dress. It was just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. It was such a beautiful night. I loved celebrating the magic of movies and cinema, and I hope you guys did too. Comment below what your favorite fashion looks were or your favorite moments from the show. I would love to relive the Oscars with you guys and I'm to making more of these in the future. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.